99 out the first park tunnel. Expects me to score goals like I expect myself to score goals. They all come in, in chunks. Uh, you know, I might go a couple of games without sometimes, but the majority of the time they come one after another. When I first created my YouTube channel four years ago, I already received a subscription from Liam Oak. Hashtag it. I might get that written on my wall in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Gogs are here. We've been joined by the fantastic Louis Mott. Uh, thanks for coming on today. No worries, mate. Uh, just top man. Uh, good handshake there. Uh, so, first of all, you grew up a Stoke City fan, didn't you? Yeah. Can you tell us how you felt when you made your debut? Yeah, well, basically, uh, it's where I was from. Uh, so it's my local mm -hmm. team. Uh -huh. I was lucky enough to play for them for 10 years throughout the academy. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I was fortunate to, to get a a debut, uh, it was in the League Cup against Leighton Orient uh, oh, and then I also come on against Portsmouth in the League Cup and in the Premiership against Burnley. So, uh, unbelievable feeling. Uh, absolutely. Oh, could, really I could imagine just pulling on a Motherwell shirt for real, it's, it would just be absolutely amazing for myself. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it's, it. It's an amazing experience, yeah, it was, it was just walking onto that hallowed turf. Uh, uh, obviously you're a Stoke fan, can you tell us what the Stoke versus Port Vale derby is like? Oh, it's brutal. There's not it? been, yeah, there's not been one in a, in a very long time. Obviously, because Stoke are flying in the Prem. Yeah. <laughs> not so much there. Because, of course, we've got Hamilton, of course, in our league. But, I'd say, a more brutal rivalry is us and Airdrie, which we've not had for about no, 11 years. Here in time, no, yeah. I don't think they ever will, because mm -hmm. Airdrie are down in the depths of Scottish football at the moment. But that's, in my opinion, the most brutal in Lanarkshire. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. What's your favourite moment as a Stoke fan been? Ooh, I've got to say, personally, we're making my debut. Well, oh, aye. <laughs> just, just because I made my debut. <laughs> That's absolutely fair enough. You'll, pro you'll probably answer this already, but if there's a moment in your career you'd go back to, what would it be and why? Is that the Premier League debut? Oh, I don't or know. It's a tricky one, that, you know. That's got to be one of them. I've yeah, probably got absolutely. a few. I think scoring the two at Parkhead and winning 2 1. Oh, absolutely. That's got to be up there. And also, probably. Probably the, the four goals against Hamilton. Oh, yeah, can, can, can he beat it? Yeah. Derby day, four goals. Yeah. Can he beat it? Yeah. So you, you gave me my favourite away day in December 2015 at Parkhead. What What is your favourite away day in general? Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to have to say, last season, late equaliser 1-1 at Hamilton. Oh. The scenes were Absolutely. unbelievable. You told me that the players... Uh, sponsorship do that you saw my reaction to that goal. I did, I watched it on, yeah. on YouTube. Can you do a wee reaction to it? <laughs> uh, can you reenact it? Oh, let me feel what was it. Was just like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was, it was exactly that. 
Play a button, dude. <laughs> <laughs> To the half century mark for Motherwell. Can you tell us your favourite goal of all time Ooh. for us? Uh, I've got to say the volley against Celtic. Uh, the side volley. I actually did a recreation of that. I'll include that in the. Seen that? Did, did you see it? Yeah, I seen that. Uh, what, what do you think? Good not technique. So good. <laughs> no, not, not as good as actual in real time because I had to <laughs> proper edit it down to make sure, make sure it looked like I was just playing the ball to myself. <laughs> When we're winning games and fans are saying twist and shape, do you ever feel like joining in? Yeah, I, I actually do join in. Do you actually? Yeah, yeah I do, yeah. You just say it in your uh, hands? Yeah, when, when you are singing, I do, uh, I run around and I can hear myself singing it. Really? So, uh, it's quite addictive. Absolutely, really, aye. Yeah. <laughs> Already we've seen a massive difference in the squad this season compared to last. What do you think has made the difference? Uh, I think there's been a number of things that's made a difference. Obviously the 17 signings. That's probably been a massive difference because mm -hmm. we're the lowest rated team in the SPFL on FIFA. Yeah. But I think what's good about that is we're underrated and people aren't expecting us to do so well. Well, exactly. That gives us a head start straight away. Absolutely. Uh, and I think there's a, there's a number of things, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that are different from last season to this season. Uh, I think the, the the changing room and the team around is is very high at the minute. Yeah. Uh, the Gaffer's done well in bringing in good people. Uh -huh. uh, and everyone seems to get on. Uh, it was similar That's the best thing. And it was similar with my first season. Uh -huh. But at the minute, there's a lot of players in the same boat. From There's quite a lot of players from down south, and the yeah. misters are all in the same boat. So all of them are going for coffee. So everyone's kind of the same. It's but we've got a good, the thing is at the minute, I think we've got a good mixture. Yeah. You've got you know the few Scottish lads, uh -huh. uh, you've got a few older boys, you've got a few middle aged boys, and you've got a few youngers. So yeah. it's a good mix. That's fair enough. We've had players in the past who have looked like they've aged a decade within a few months before. What's the story be behind your beard? What beard? It's gone. I, I know, but <laughs> when, when you had it properly like, bushy the, the, the last I, couple of weeks. I know, I had a shave yesterday. I had a haircut and a shave yesterday, but uh, uh, being, uh, truth being told, my missus told me to shave yeah. it. Because so you're I'm looking a bit more fresh today. I'm you? looking fresh today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you scored that last minute equaliser at Hamilton last year, Craig Samson ran up to join in the celebrations. Did you know he was that fast? I didn't even know he was up. Did you not? I generally didn't know he was uh, joining the celebrations because when I score, I am literally, I don't know what's going on. Uh, You're just, the adrenaline just caught take, in the moment. It just takes over. Because of course. I, 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 remember, I look back at some of my celebrations, I'm thinking, what was I doing? Um, I, I literally just, the adrenaline takes over. I remember yeah. some of the lads saying after the game, Sammy, what were you doing? <laughs> and I went, Sammy, where were you? I didn't <laughs> actually know. Giving it a loud day. <laughs> Brilliant. So, of course, do you have the new FIFA 18? No, no. I don't play, I don't play PlayStation. I'm more of a football manager kind of guy. Oh, I me too. Um, I agree, yeah. But I've not played that in a but long time as well. Yesterday was on the FIFA 18 web app and I opened my free pack and I actually got you in the free pack. Decent. Uh, it was a, it was annoying because I already had you in the club already because you were my first purchase. Ah, nice. Uh, nice. I know. You moved to Scotland in 2015. Have you tried any of the Scottish delicacies? Mm, not massively. No? No. Just sticking to your... Yeah, I think the, the, the one I have done is a sausage, sausage supper. Uh -huh. uh, that's gone down quite a lot of my house. Fair enough. I don't right? mind that on a Saturday night or a Sunday. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, do you have any Scottish connections, like ancestors that would make you eligible to play for the national team? You know what, everyone keeps asking me this. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, my, my, it was funny because my old man was up weekend just gone and randomly he just said to me, oh, I'll speak to you now. She seemed to think there was a bit of Scottish in the family. Excellent. But I don't know how far it goes back and I don't know if it's true. Right, phone up Gordon Strachan right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you were in a pick and mix sweet shop and had a choice of three sweets, what would you choose and why? Oh, wow. What a question. <laughs> what a question. Yeah, Manus didn't have a clue a couple of weeks ago when I asked him this. Go on, what's yours? For me, I'd go for strawberry bonbons, uh -huh. giant straws, and a wee bit of jelly beans. Alright, oh, okay. Not sure about that. Uh, <laughs> mine would probably be the sugar coated uh, Coca Cola bottle things. Oh, yeah, Cola Cubes. Uh, see, you, you, you know all the names and everything. 
I'm a kid. I'm a kid. <laughs> mm. What about the the pink and white colour bottle things? What are they? They're nice. See, I don't know the names for things. I can't actually remember them either. They're ones and they're probably... Yeah. I'm going to have to go to the, the laces, you know, the strawberry laces. Strawberry laces, oh, strawberry can laces. I beat the better strawberry laces? Yeah, and final question, if you were a superhero, would you rather be called Louis Lad or Moat Man? Oh, Moat Man. Uh, oh, that sounds good. And I bet that's got a ring to it. Uh, it, it does, doesn't it? Uh, what would your superpower be? Oh, it's got to be to fly. To fly? Yeah. Because uh, you scored against that wonder goal against Hearts. My pal Fraser ran down to join in the celebrations, and he fell down the stairs. And he's got a massive scrape, he still has a mark on, <laughs> on his leg. So I, I thought your superpower would be scoring zingers that make people fall downstairs. <laughs> well, I'll take that. Anyway, Sorry guys, that. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you very much, Louis. Top man, mate. And hope you score a hat trick today. Top man, thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed bringing it to you. I hope Louis Moult enjoyed the interview because, honestly, I really appreciate he did that for me. And I've also got to thank my Uncle Mark, because if it wasn't for him, my interviews with my other players would not be possible. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Goggs89, but it was you were, and I'll leave the big man, of course, to say the rest. It's happening, Louis Mark here. Subscribe to Goggs99. Cheers, mate.